so let's get this started again um sorry for the messy and unesthetic background i'm currently living and working out of my parents house they have five dogs so sorry about that <laughs> but you know what we will continue working because that's what's fun thank you so much for being here <laughs> Let me make sure I got the live chat going. Hi, Profe. Hi, Peg. Hi. Okay, so um, let me grab the printable. Okay, let's do this. Somewhere over the rainbow. Here we go. And then um, remember that we have um up hawaii is here hi so no this is not the new house this is my parents house um they found a lot of pests at the um at our current home so we are not moving in there because we want to be safe for the baby um so we have pest control taking care of that um and so we have to be out of the house for like a week so i'll be here I'm sorry it's not like the prettiest location just because like we have a crib and clothes everywhere um but i'm just posting this on patreon okay let's do this let's do this Ay. sorry about that it froze for a second okay so let's have some fun. I see Profe is here. Profe is the one who wrote this arrangement. So thank you, Profe, so much. Um, I will check my message. I know I have a message from you, but I haven't been able to keep up with my messages. Okay. Gotta love life little hiccups. Yes, definitely. Hi, Tana. Hi. Just a little piece of pepperoni on the pizza pie of life, yeah. And yes, please hit the like button. Okay, let's get started. So, um, let's just go full steam ahead. It's the funnest way. So let's go to page one and review what we've got, yeah? So we've got, um, if somebody could drop the printable link, that would be great. We've got, the intro which we're going to review right now because we haven't done this in a little while and i want to make sure that we kind of review what we've got my birthday is october 21st um so yes thank you yukon for dropping the link to that and of course i was going to add it right now in the description and my internet is pooping out <laughs> Sometimes this happens. Okay. I just added it on the description box. So if you refresh, it'll be there. Okay, here we go. Yay. But we're here and that's what matters, right? So intro, we've got to be... Pick. Down. Pick. Mute. Up. Down. Up. Okay. And yes, almost Scorpio. going on in the intro let me set up the metronome um let me see and let me turn the lights a little brighter that should be a little better there we go. okay From the intro. Here we go. One, two, hi, good morning. One, two, ready, go.
got to do that a few more times, right? Let's do that again. I know I'm rusty, so let's do that again. Here we go from the top. Memorize your first few chords. C, E minor, A minor, F. One and two and three and four. Intro. times we're doing the intro there's a free principle down below <laughs> free principle down below in the description box we're on the intro let me know how the speed feels for you if we need to slow it down we can slow it down here we go one two ready go Kristen we just started we started like five minutes ago so you're totally good I guess yeah there is no known sorry yeah on figure six there is no and thank you for that let's try again one and two on the intro go feedback let me know how you're feeling about this one um if you've just joined us there's a free printable down below you don't need to give me an email address or anything like that as soon as you click on the link it opens a google doc so super easy hi robin let's do one more last one last time the intro doing good okay sweet one and two and three and four and hi tom or to the ooh, ooh section. Let me read your comments really quickly just to see how you're doing. I, play, I can't play at the moment, but I'm listening and learning. Very rusty, surprisingly good, doing good. Okay, so it sounds like we're all over the place. I feel like I'm all over the place. Nandini, hi. Really like the metronome, sweet. Okay, let's keep going. Okay. So let's do the ooh section at figure 11. Figure 11. Hi, Kathy. There we go, we've got C. Do it with an index or middle so that you can reach that seventh fret next uh, for the next bar. One and two and three and four and one and two. of what we're going for okay we're on the ooh section here we go 
one and two and three and four and one my bad one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one review that because it's really rusty we're starting on figure 11 and we'll kind of go through it uh note by note okay figure 11 okay so give me a c with the index or with the middle um for figure 11 so we've got one two and three and four and that part we can do I'm currently on 60 BPM. And then we're going to reach to 7, 0, 0, 0, 7. 1, 2, and 3, and 4. So those two. 1, 2, and 3, and 4, and 1, 2, and 3, and 4. Then we're going to do an E minor. 1, 2, and 3, and 4, and... We're gonna add the pinky on A string, so keep your E minor shape. One, two, lift the pinky, and three, and add the pinky. Leave the pinky on the A string. Look up real quick, look up, look up, look up. That pinky is gonna slide to fret three, and then you're gonna add the F on top of it. Or you can do a ring finger if that works better, but I recommend the pinky because you can slide. Then you, you were on figure 15. One, two, and three, and four. And then slide from figure uh, on 16. We're gonna bring the pinky up to the second fret and slide it to the third fret. Now lift the F chord you're holding and you're already on C. Figure 18. Add the F, you leave the pinky where it's at. Slide the pinky from two to three. So you've had from figure 14 all the way to figure 20, the pinky is on A string or string A. Okay? So have that um, have that in mind when you're working there. So we've gone from an A minor with the pinky on the fifth. with pinky on a string okay figure 21 e7 and then four 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 five now you see those sevens on e string if you want to do something easier just pick on g string instead of that seven g string on fourth fret is the same note and it's easier. Okay, let's try that ooh section. Ooh, I was gonna sneeze and I held it and now my eyes are watering. Here we go. One, figure 11, two. One and two and three, you can do it. Go, one and two.
All right, let's do that again. From the ooze, figure 11. One, two, one and two and ready, go now. Last line. Okay, now let's try it from the top. From the top. And by the way, yes, if you make a Super Chat uh, donation or a Venmo donation, you will enter a raffle to get a private lesson with uh, Prof. Sebastian. Thank you, Prof. for doing that. Oh, sorry, guys, for my allergies. I think you look a bit under the weather. It's really windy here, and I get really bad allergies. Like, like I can't breathe. I can't talk. Like... Uh, headache it gets really bad like if you've ever seen someone with a really bad cold that's what I look like with allergies and it's so windy here so that's what um that's what I'm going on the pinky stays on string a tip was so helpful thank you Dina so much better using the G string on seven instead of figure 22 sweet yay I'm glad you guys are loving these tips okay sweet sounds so peaceful oh all right, let's take it from the intro. Let's do all of page one. One, two, one, two, ready, go. You left Anaheim? Where did you go? Honey, I need something and I can't take medicine because I'm breastfeeding. F figure 10. The ooze section ready. Go. give me feedback how are you feeling which parts are easy which parts are not flowing tell me everything so that we can fix this page before we go to the next one mm, teaspoon of pep honey can I have a shout out <laughs> go practice no I don't know your name I can't give you a shout out Penella root tea pills and then Peg what did you say about Himalayan something pink what given to me by my chiropractor take me with terrible allergy symptoms Worked better. Penella, Penelia root tea pill. I'm gonna take a screenshot because that's that's funky and different, and I love it. I can't do the slide on twenty. Okay, Susan. Okay, Susan. The slide on twenty, which happens on sixteen as well. So, okay, yeah. Karen needs help there too. Salt. It's a nasal inhale. Hey there. Okay. I'm willing to try any of the homeopathic things uh, because that's what's going to work for the baby. Oh, Wendy, I'm so sorry. It's not loading. Oh, okay. So, 
Let's go from figure uh, 15 or 19. They're both the same. You've got an F, right? And this is for Susan and Karen, but anyone who's struggling with the slide on figure 16 and figure 20. So you've got your F plus your C chord. So go ahead and give me that. And look up, look up, look up. I'm gonna pivot the hand this way. Like look at how the elbow is moving, by the way. I wanna pivot the hand up there because I want that pinky, and notice how that pinky, if I'm not too tense, then pinky moves with it. Notice the direction of the middle finger too. Look up, look up. The pinky can fit on the second fret if I make room for it. If I stay here, it's really hard to squeeze it there. It's possible, but it's really hard. It's not pleasant and it's not, um, it, it feels tense. So we don't wanna feel tense. So go ahead and angle up a little bit to make room and give me that slide. And try without the F chord. Just try strum one or one and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Okay. So that's all we're doing with this F one and two and three and four. Oh, Wendy made a donation. Thank you. Honey, going in your local area works well. Oh, that makes sense. I think there's a man who sells honey on the corner and he like sells oranges and avocados. I'll see if, oh, but it's so windy today. I don't know if he'll be there. Changing the angle helps for sure. Sweet. Fam Trim, we are working on Somewhere Over the Rainbow chord melody. Um, it sounds a little bit like this. charts the tab and link down below and Benny today's your birthday hi happy birthday okay um so figure 15 one two and three and four slide the pinky one and two and three and four the best advice I can give you is if you were to have fun with that slide how would it sound because if we're tense and thinking about like, move the pinky, strum, move it again, it's really mechanical. But, and hi Fado, if you think about it, it's just a fun little wiggle, like wiggle, wiggle. Hopefully that takes a lot of the pressure off of making it perfect. Make sure you let go often and wiggle it out and get blood flowing there. I have a problem strumming upwards. Okay, Rohini, have you taken the 30 day youth challenge? You don't need to, but it helps. Thank you, Evelyn. Okay, Evelyn Abstin. Okay. Whoop. Let's try figure 15, 16, and 17. My pinky is weak, easier to play hammer on. Hmm, let me see. Yeah, that's the best place to play it. I like your hammer on idea. So Susan, here's another option. Have both the ring and the pinky on A string or string A on second fret and third. And then have the F chord. And then lift the pinky and then hammer on the pinky. Takes a little bit of coordination, but it's doable. And for anyone struggling with that slide, that's another option. I'm screenshotting it all the um, donations thank you by the way and we're at 99 likes woohoo awesome 
Okay. That hammer on option works really well. Karen, thank you. Okay, let's try. Um, let's try the ooh, ooh section. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four one and two and three and four one two and three and four one and two and three and four and two and three and four woohoo on your legs Taimane.com for this merch. I think it's such a cool shirt. And her tattoos look like this, which is super cool. Super, super cool. And uh, somebody asks, I'm playing the Enya ukulele. This is the bougainvillea one because it's got bougainvillea flowers. Oh, thank you, Brian. Taimane. Yeah, she's a shredder. Incredible, incredible artist. Okay, let's do it again. Much, much better. Here you go from figure 11. One, two, ah, thank you, Tina. One, two, figure 11, two, you got this, breathe. One, two, and three, and four, and one. intro from the intro hi if you've just joined us we are doing a chord melody of somewhere over the rainbow there's a free principle for you in the description box down below there's no charge no need to drop your email or anything as soon as you click to on the link it opens up the google document and it will look something like this um uh, hold on and then melinda requested for me to do a few bars so yes of course i will do it so uh, your principal will look something like this. And that's it. <laughs> okay, Melinda wanted me to do bar 14 and 21. You got it. You got it, Miss Mermaid. Okay, 14. I'm holding an E minor. And I'm adding the pinky on the fifth fret of A. So I'm gonna do down, down again. And then lift the pinky to pick on A string. Mute, A string again. And then down with the fifth. So if your mind is not thinking one and two, look up and three and four. And you want your mind thinking like this, but you also want your hand thinking like this. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. You'll notice everything that's on a beat is on a thumb or on a down strum. Anything that's on the ands is gonna be on up pick or an up strum. So this will help you with figure 14 where you have thumb and then down and then on the up, just touch the A string. Mute. I thank you, Susan. Let's drop some hearts for Susan. 
So we've got down, down, up, up, down. And try it without even moving the pinky. Leave the pinky on the fifth fret first. Down, down, up, mute, up, down. Down, down, up, mute, up, down. And those ups try to just hit the A string. Down, down, up, mute, up, down. Down, down, up, mute, up, down. Okay? Now, when you do those ups, lift the pinky. One, hi, hi, Ricky. Down, down, up, mute, up, down. Melinda, let me know where you're struggling. <laughs> I see the thank you hands. Okay. Um, and then you wanted 21 as well, right? Was it 21 you wanted or 22? Um, let's drop some potatoes in the chat for Ricky, who calls his squad the potato fam. I call you all Euclidians. He calls his people potato fam. Where did that even come from? <laughs> okay, so we've got 21. We're going to do E7. E7. Up. Mute. Up. Down. And those ups, I'm only hitting the A string. I'm watching, uh, watching your video with Signature Uke right after this. <laughs> Um, Melinda, 21 has the exact same pattern as, um, uh, 12, but with a different chord shape. I love all the potatoes in the chat. Um, same pattern, different chord shape. Pattern, rhythm, strumming, okay? And someone's asking how often I do these. I'm gonna do them, uh, this week. I'll probably do it all week until we figure this song out. <laughs> okay, so let's take it from the top. <coughs> Let me grab my water. <coughs> Hold on a second. <coughs> All right, from the top. We're gonna go from a C to an E minor. <coughs> I still feel it. Here we go. C to E minor from the top in the intro section. One, two, one and two and ready, go. Thank you, thank you. That is a wonderful reminder. Thankfully, I have my parents here, both of them. Well, I'm at my parents' house, and both of them were like hands on deck with the baby, so that helps a lot. Let's do it one last time before we finish today's lesson. By the way, if you'd like 
a chance to get a private lesson from Professor de Ukulele, who's here, who's the one who taught me. Um, Profe is uh, raffling off a lesson. So if you'd like the chance to participate, make a donation of any size through Super Chat or Venmo. Your parents seem like saints. They're really, really nice. Like, really nice people. The kind that kind of get taken advantage of by other people because they're so, so nice. So, it was hard to see that growing up, like, because they're too nice. Okay, here we go from the top. Wait, hold on. Ah! Okay, so look at your first four chords. C, E minor, A minor, and F. And the lessons will be at uh, 10 a.m. Los Angeles time. So C, E minor, A minor, F. <laughs> Thank you, Profe. So here's C. We're going from the intro. E minor. Thank you, Florence. Okay, you got it? From the top, one, two, one, two, intro, ready, go, one, E minor, A minor, Line, the next page one two just gonna finish it ready ah. Ah, let me try again figure 23 and F. Ooh, a little tricky but definitely doable so tomorrow we will do page two again just for the review and then you're having technical issues oh no um well i'll upload this so you can watch a replay and you gone by um we will visit this tomorrow now i've got news for you we had started at 60 bpm with the metronome but i moved it up to 69 slowly every time so that was almost 70 beats per minute which is really really great that we were able to increase the tempo and play a lot faster i forget to breathe when we go faster <laughs> so yes i'm using metronomeonline.com as the resource for this i think it's a really really cool metronome um let me show you um let me turn the screen i knew you cheated Okay, so this is what Metronome Online looks like. We've got a big old ad there. Let me see if I can cover it up. Okay, there we go. Let me bring these down so that we can use a stairway to have it. Okay, so this is Metronome Online, and you see a whole wheel here. We had started at 60 BPM. The next time I went up to 63, 66. And we just did 69. 
So as you can tell, the, the change is really gradual, but if we were to go back from 69 to 60, you can hear it. You feel it? Back up. So it makes a difference. It makes a really nice difference um, to play with a metronome. This is a free metronome. You see, is that one? We do want to work up to, as Abe is saying, something in the mid 80s. So we will, we will definitely get there, but it, it's a starting point. Um, my music teacher used to say, play at the tempo that you can play the most difficult part. Because sometimes we can do the easy parts fast, but if you have to slow down for the difficult part, then do the whole song at that tempo and increase the whole song gradually. So that's what we're trying to do now, is to play everything at one tempo and increase it all together. Kind of like a rising tide, right? Or like you're filling up a gallon of water. You're not gonna fill up one part and not the other. We wanna have it all go up gradually. And yes, he was an excellent teacher. I wish I could get in touch with him somehow, but he wasn't a social media kind of person. And he moved to Chicago, I think, um, from California. But yes, metronomeonline.com, use that resource, use the free printable down below, and have fun with your practice. We also have a SoundCloud of this recording. Um, let me see. Let me add it to the description box right now. Right now. So that you can listen to that. Okay. SoundCloud practice tracks. Listen to my beats, yo. They're not even my beats. They're profes beats. Printable, printable. Okay. Printable resource is on the description box. SoundCloud practice tracks are on the description box. So if you refresh this, you'll be able to see it. Now, let me add the ukulele that I was playing right now. Bye-bye, Miss P. Bye, Ritik. Thank you for being here. Perfect attendance. Okay, so I was playing the Bougainvillea ukulele or the Bernadette ukulele. <laughs> I'm too excited. Yay, good. Be excited. Whoa. Okay, so I see the Hawaiian Lays for your ukulele are $26. All right, <laughs> a ukulele used, boom. All right, all the links have been added down below for your viewing pleasure. Thank you. I will be here again tomorrow at the same time, whatever time it was about 15 minutes ago where you're at, that's the time that I'm gonna do this again tomorrow. Hi, soft buns. Okay, go practice. I'm gonna go edit videos and post and uh, I'll see you again tomorrow. <laughs> How can I finger pick with getting my hand rattled? Rattled. Come back tomorrow and I'll answer that question, yes. And thank you everybody, take care. Have a wonderful rest of your day or night and I'll see you in 23 hours. <laughs> bye, bye bye.